So good to see you. Me and too. this project, Softland, has been something you've been trying to get off the ground a whole lot of you for a couple of years now, yeah, isn't for, it? Yeah. Um, Leon Lopez, who, who wrote it, uh, we worked together on a short film about four years ago. Right. Uh, and on our way home, uh, he said, I've, I've written a script and you'd be great for one of the leads in it when you take a read. So I, I read it and loved it. And then it took us four years to get the funding for it. It's really hard, isn't um, it? It is difficult when it's an it independent is. film. Yeah. It's, it's difficult. But it they're the difficult. ones that actually you get the most fun from, I would think. Well, or the most joy from, you know. It, it, I think you can tell when a project's made on passion. Yeah. And that's, that's... We didn't have a lot of money, but no. we, did, we had a lot of passion. It is about betrayal, it's about secrets, it's about lies and yes. all of that that I think anybody can relate to. Yes, um, it, yeah, it, it, it's about how sort of lies can destroy uh, lives and families and, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got quite an important message, I think, about honesty and trust and um, all the things, really, that you need for a successful relationship. Yeah, exactly. And the fact that you're in Corey, you've been mm. in Emmerdale, you, you've got someone from EastEnders in the cast as well, yes. that helps. It it's does. got to help, hasn't it? Well, it certainly it? helped you know, with really? the publicity for of the film. Course, of um, yeah. With the storyline, it shows that we have actually come a long way. Mm. There's still a long way to go for, there is still for, a long for way gay to men go. and women, of course there yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for, for my character, Jules, um, he can't come out. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's, uh, he's essentially having an affair with his, his brother-in-law, with his wife's brother. Can you imagine living like that? I mean, no. people used to. They used no. to, you know, been in, in not that long ago when it was illegal. You know, people had to mm. live with these terrible, crushing lies. Yeah, sort of duplicitous uh, existences. Horrible, and, wouldn't it? Yeah, horrible. You couldn't be yourself. No, but, in, but it, it still goes on. And that's the, that's the so sad, sad. sad thing about it. But do you think, you know, that characters that you play, and, mm. and particularly something like Coronation Street, yep. it, it actually does, I think, that does more more to help than sometimes than any amount of campaigns, which are great, you know, that's good that we have those. But when it's in a drama like Corrie, accessible to all, I think that makes a big difference. I think soaps are incredibly powerful in terms of being able to get, uh, to change people's opinions, to, to, to be able to get a point across. I think soaps are incredibly powerful. Um, and certainly uh, for me, as a gay man growing up, I, I would have benefited massively, Definitely. I think, from having yeah, positive sure. gay role models on television and in And films. also characters that just so happen to be gay. Yes. It's not like a great big giant deal. No. You know, I think that's really important yeah. as well. Because in, you know, in days gone by, you know, especially when you, when you when your character in, in Emmerdale, yeah. that was more, I feel like, more shocking in a sense. Well, yeah, well, I think... well there was more shock, to, it, it was, whereas now, he's just a vicar who happens to be gay. Well, it is. And I, th I mean, with Emmerdale, I think I did the first man on Man kiss Emma Dale had ever like, had, oh, and it was huge. Yeah, there oh were more complaints than any and, other episode. And the world and, still turned. Yeah, it did. It, <laughs> it did. Oh, it still went round. Whereas this time round with with Corey, um, actually, it's the fact that he's a vicar uh -huh. has been more sort of shocking. Completely, um, absolutely. Yeah. So it's it has been nice to see that progression mm. over that decade no, and see good. that that people have grown and. He's become he's become the sort of moral compass though of Coronation Street, which is a good thing. You know, he's, he's there for everybody. Yes. You know, you can see that that very gently and very kindly, he's kind of there. You know, if you need him, he's yes. there. Yeah. And I like that. Yeah. I think that's really good, and I think it's important to have that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, well, as a vicar, I suppose you are part of the community yeah. at large, uh, and therefore able to help people with their with their daily issues mm. and of course for for one street <laughs> there's a lot of issues oh, there there's a lot of issues so oh, there's a <laughs> lot of issues thank goodness <laughs> it yeah. makes it really good so look soft Land, when can we see it's out now it is out now yeah um it came out on dvd and online on monday fantastic uh, day before yesterday so yeah Great. um it's doing really well we're number five on the itunes charts excellent and, um, no it's doing incredibly well oh that's yeah, i'm really glad to hear it, it.